Hey, it's Emily from Art and Soul Beads, and today we're going to learn how to make this blinging crystal bangle. The products that you're going to need for this bangle is 8mm rondelles, 20 gauge artistic wire. We're going to do a play on mixed metals here with the gold and the silver. You need a pair of snippers, a pair of pliers, and a kitchen glass. I find it easy to just use a kitchen glass that you have right at your house. And then for measurements, you can go ahead and make some small bangles and some large bangles as size guides. First, you're going to want to cut your 20 gauge wire. I already cut about six feet because I'm going to make a small size bangle. Now we're ready to make the base of the bangle. I have taken my six feet of wire and I've wrapped it around um, four times. So you're just going to want to place that on your kitchen glass and get a nice snug wrap by tugging at both sides. Now you can see that I have one strand that's extra long and then one strand that's short. We're going to add the first series of our beads onto the short strand and then we're going to make the base of our bangle with the long strand. So what I'm going to do is with my thumb I'm going to secure all of my wire bands onto the glass. Our first step is we're going to bend our short tail wire back at a 90 degree angle and then you're ready to remove the bangle base from the glass and from there with your thumb you want to hold on to all these bases really tight and we're going to wrap one, two solid times around the base. Here's a fun trick for you. You see how the wires have gotten a little bit out of whack? Don't hesitate to put your base back on the glass and tighten all of those wires back up before you continue on with your project. I do this several times throughout my project. And see, I've gotten them all tightened back up. Now I'm ready to add a bead. We're gonna add our first bead to the short end of the wire tail. And to do that, you just wanna slide your bead on. Now we want the bead to rest straight up and down on the bangle base so that the bling is on the outside of the base. And to do that, you need to create a, a little pocket for that bead to rest. So I either use my tool and then bend like so, then place my bead, or as I get used to making the bracelet, I'm able to do it with just my hands, and you'll see that here in just a second. So then I've wrapped two solid times around my bangle base, and I'm ready to add one more bead. I'm going to slide the bead on to the wire, create that U, that pocket for the, for the bead to rest onto the bangle base. Now I'm ready to wrap two solid times around the base of my bangle. One, two, and then I'm back up. That's about all that we need to do on this side of the bangle base. We're about ready to start making the full bangle with the long wire. Now we're ready to add our beads to the base of the bangle, but we never want to trim this wire because you never know, we might end up needing it at the end. So to do that, I'm just going to slide on a bead onto the long end, and it's kind of already set up for me to start adding my beads. I'm gonna create that U pocket with my fingers, just kind of push it over, set it into place, Oh, there it goes. Now I'm going to wrap one, two times. Now I'm going to add the second bead from the long wire. I'm going to create that U pocket for the bead to rest on. Then I'm going to tightly wrap one, two times around the bangle. All right, we're about halfway there with our beads. Now's a good time to slide it right back on your glass, kind of apply some pressure, make sure that form is exactly how we want, and we're almost done with our bangle, so hang in there.
very last bead and you can see that it's going to meet up with our original tail here. So I'm going to slide on the very last bead, create its little U pocket for it to rest in nice on top of the bangle. And I'm going to wrap really tight around twice. Trying to make, make sure it has a spot for its for the wire on the bangle here. And now they are together, but it's very inconspicuous. So I'm gonna trim the two tails off right at the base. And I'm going to secure them by applying lots of pressure onto the bangle with my flat nose plier. And just kind of squeeze them together so nobody really sees the four there, the four wraps instead of just the two. And so we have a completed bangle. Now that our bangle's completed, we wanna be sure that it's nice and circular. So go ahead and place it back on your cup, give it a little tug here. And also you can kind of push your crystals onto the top, make sure they're all kind of perfectly spaced. If any of them um, got a little crooked, you can kind of try to push him back up the way he's supposed to be, but just kind of feel it all around and make sure they're all perfectly spaced so that it looks really nice and professional. Then you can wear them all together. Also, on your strand, you'll have a couple leftover beads and you can make um, an accompanied bangle that looks like this and wear them all together and go out on the town. Thank you so much for watching our video on how to make the blinging crystal bangle. Be sure you leave a comment below and subscribe to our YouTube page. Also, you can find all these materials on www.artandsoulbeads.com. Thanks!